Hi and welcome to another episode of Browsing X. In today's video, we're gonna discuss Meridian Flip. What is Meridian Flip? Meridian Flip is an action that your telescope or specifically your mount and your computer that it's controlling the mount can do in order for it to provide um, a tracking for the object for all from the east all the way to the west. So in this episode we're gonna be discussing what is meridian flip, why we need meridian flip, and how to do meridian flip technically in the ASI air. And we will end by some tips and tricks in order for you to have a safely meridian flip without damaging any cables on your system or hitting your camera with the tripod. So let's begin. What is meridian flip? What is meridian to begin with? The meridian is the line that separate the east from the west. So if this is your polar star, it means this is your north direction. And the line, the imaginary line that connect the horizon from the north all the way to the south is your meridian. So that's the line. Anything that it's here, it's called the object in the other side of the meridian and in order for you to go here since your object is moving from the east all the way to the le to the west which is similarly to the sun is doing since the earth movement is in the opposite direction so all the object in the sky is moving from the east to the west so anything is closer to the northern star will move from here to here and then farther a little bit will move like that and from here to move like that and so go on but this stands to the reason that this object is from here and your mount is trying to uh, track it from east all the way to the west so it will pass through the meridian which is this line which is the line that connected the south the south to the north so why we need that uh, meridian flip uh, your mount is assumingly you are to, we are talking about the equatorial mounts is directed towards the north star so it has two axes and it's like that so the first axis is move this way and the second axis moves that way all right so in order for your mount to track an object first it will uh, direct the telescope towards it by knowing where it exists in the sky in terms of which um, circle of, of latitude. So if it exists here or here or here or here or here, this is the function of that direction, right? And the tracking during the night will be happening by only that axis, which is the axis that is oriented to the North Star. So when your object, when your telescope is trying to uh, track an object, what it does, it first direct that axis towards that star and then start to move that one toward the place which it is based on the time of the day. So if it's here, for example, now, which is 10 o'clock in the evening, for example, it means that it will keep tracking by rotating that axis in order for track so once it reached the zenith which is maximum position of the meridian here towards that object it will reach the maximum horizontal position for that axis right once it reached that position it cannot go any further in order for it to track it all the way now here it need the mount to continue doing that and since the maximum is 180 degree here what it will do is just comes back to the other direction and then point this one here and then to keep tracking the other half of the horizon so that's the meridian flip now for some visual aids to make you understand better how the meridian works as we see here in the video, 
the axis of the mount is almost horizontal I'm tracking the M101 here so it's almost horizontal as it shows and it moves all the 90 degrees to the left now the mount is moving all the way to the east again to be become horizontal in order for it to track the other 90 degrees of the sky until the object touched the horizon again so as you can see the meridian now is moving and it's now almost completely successful now we will talk about how to do meridian flip technically by ASI Air. Now we are inside the ASI Air and we will go to the settings of the mount and then we will go to the option for the meridian which is the auto meridian flip settings and inside here we will find two settings both tracking time before meridian basically how many minutes it will stop tracking and then will start the tracking after the meridian and the flip timing after meridian it means after the meridian it will wait a few minutes in order for it to start tracking again and this is very important because you need your telescope to be able to track in the other direction so you will give it some time to cross the meridian so two three four or five minutes and then it can start tracking again now we are about five minutes for the meridian and the tracking stopped and it will show looping here without any interaction that's normal and wait for this flipping in the left and the right side lower corner once it goes to zero it will start to flip this what happened after the flip after the flip it will start guiding and then it will keep shooting and now you have a successful meridian flip and now for some tips in order for you to have a successful meridian without having your camera or your telescope smashing into your tripod legs first have this leg in the back not in the front so don't direct one of the legs toward the north star and have the two uh, horizontal legs that directed to the uh, north star this will give you a bigger space here between these two legs on the right and on the left when you are doing the meridian that this camera is located in between these two legs secondly we will talk about the position of your telescope within the mount so in order for us to do that I will be moving manually the telescope and the mount with the controller and we will see what the position that we can be in okay I will rotate now so you can see the difference and if you look here there is a very small gap between almost like 10 centimeter between the camera and the leg if the direction of the north star was this leg here means that leg would be here and it will be facing exactly the camera also if that telescope was a little bit down that will cause this area to be closer to the leg so because the lower the telescope end is the closer it is to the leg of the telescope since it's spreading out so one tip to do that is to direct put your telescope a little bit farther on the mount so if you can see here this is the dovetail and start from here all the way to here so I'm not centering it perfectly in this you won't be able to do that with um, a warm gear type mount because it uh, it needs to be balanced however with a harmonic drive mount you will be able to do that without affecting your guiding uh, capacity and the mount is capable of uh, doing the balance by itself by its motor hopefully by now you you uh, you understand how meridian work and how to do that through the asi air technically and what is involved within this aspects of the meridian flip thank you again for watching and i will see you in the next episode